Oh, I can just hear the, I told you so. Go ahead. Go ahead, champ. Go ahead and celebrate, Natalie. You've been trying to tell us this for years. Giannis was able to crawl inside your head and articulate your very deepest thoughts. He was. He just was, he just parroting what you've been saying all along. So what do you um, have to say, Natalie? What's going on? Hey, fellas. You should have just played the rest of the clip where he said at the end that the best player is Steph Curry, just in case anyone was unclear. Um, but yeah, I think that's a very smart man, Giannis. Love that guy. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, hey, hey, Natalie, uh, Gary Carter, our uh, intrepid producer, said he cut that part off on purpose. He cut it off on purpose. <laughs> I bet he did. Just to kind of troll you. He wanted to mm -hmm. troll you a little bit. But uh, I'm happy to see think... it all the time. How about his logic, though? Do you agree with his logic? Do you agree with Giannis's logic that the best player is the guy who is standing at the end or do you feel like even if Steph Curry if they had lost to Boston which they really should have but if they had lost to Boston in six games uh do you still think Steph would be the best player in the league so I'm gonna say based on the way that I feel like the media has treated whoever won at the end of the season like based on sort of the precedent that they've set um yes his logic is, is sound because for the last several years, for the most part, whoever won the finals or MV, finals MVP, they were like, oh, they came back and you would see the rankings and it was like, that person is the best player in the world. They even did it with Kawhi when he, when he won in Toronto. So for the most part, it's been done every year. But yeah, all of a sudden this year, there's like all these exceptions with Steph. So um, I think his logic based on how the media typically does things. Yes, I agree. But for me, he's been the best player since 2016. So like winning and losing wouldn't have changed that unless he just was like outperformed by someone on the Celtics, which he was not. As you know, he was the best player in the series. <laughs> as you know, as you know, he was not. I do know that. <laughs> but by that, I would say by that logic, if you say 2016, then he was outplayed by a couple people that series. But we're going to move forward natalie Ooh. uh yes you can take you can you can take take a victory lap i'm not going to agree with holly and say the celtics, the celtics should have won that series i don't After... I, I don't even agree with holly <laughs> okay agree. as long as you know that. i'm just saying game, that i don't even agree with myself game four game four was one of the greatest nba finals games performances i've ever seen in my life and it, it stamped step oh, as being certified absolutely but if we're gonna go to a top for you guys we're gonna go to a here we go. When you, whenever you try to give him credit, you don't give him enough credit. Whenever you know you you wash the royal feet, you gotta kiss the royal feet. You know what I mean? Like it's never enough. Now, never what enough. I will say is, Insatiate. I believe, I believe a great Prince song, by the way. Now, I believe that there's three people that can have a legitimate case to say I'm at the top of the individual mountain. Okay. It is the aforementioned Steph Curry. It is Giannis. And it is still who I believe to be the baddest man walking the face of the earth, Kevin Durant. After that, everybody else can have their discussion. But I think if we're talking about, you know, individual players as far as their effect on the game in different ways and how they can impact winning, how can they take over a ball game consistently from well, let's see your list. From October to April, May, and June. Yeah, go ahead and put it out. Let's, go ahead and put it out. Let, go ahead and put. Tell Gary, tell oh, Gary got, Carter to put my list up. In a minute, in a minute, but keep talking. It'll it come in a minute. It'll come in a minute. Okay. Because now Nat I know what you're. You know Natalie's Natalie. Natalie, your list Dylon, is Dylon, 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 yeah, exactly. Dylon. That's that's my list. Okay. I got no right, issues now, there. Oh, I, I got, tell me what. Tell me. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell tell me where I know you don't like Steph being behind those guys, but I think they're in their own tier. I would say I feel right. like I do more do this in tears as opposed to numerical things. Those are three guys that I legitimately believe can be the best I player in the NBA no finals that can carry their That's team my top to three. a championship in June. Those three guys are there and you can mix and match however you want to do and everything else kind of falls underneath that. Vinny, that's my top three. Really, just I just reversed it. So Steph is at one, Giannis two, Durant three. No question. Now, I've got 
Vinny, and I want to get Natalie's take on this. I like how we both had Jimmy Butler. Shout out Jimmy Butler. Underrated still. After everything he's done, he's still underrated. But you've got LeBron a little bit higher than I do. And I want to ask you about that, Vinny. And also, you have Kawhi Leonard on the list. And we just haven't seen him in a while. So I wonder why Kawhi is at nine. So talk to me about uh, Kawhi and LeBron over Luka and Tatum. Well, the last time we saw Kawhi Leonard in the playoffs in 2021, before he, you know, before he hurt his knee, he was on a hellacious run, right? So I will give you respect. The same way I gave Kevin Durant respect, the same way that I didn't penalize Steph Curry when he was out for uh, basically that that started that pandemic year, what turned out to be that pandemic year. The, my last view of you, I will start from there unless I don't believe that you are physically the same human being. So Kawhi Leonard, even if I think he's going to play maybe 60 games this year, I do think that he's a bankable enough of a commodity where he can outperform where, where he is, to be perfectly honest. Zion Williamson can wind up making that list if he plays on the floor mm. 65 to 70 yeah. games. With LeBron, it's more or less, I'm saying that so nobody says washed king on um, on hashtags. I don't, I don't feel like hearing that this year. I don't want to see no Wash King stuff. I don't want to hear nobody say that LeBron's not getting his respect and everything else. Like, I'll give him credit for putting up a statistically efficient season last year. It just didn't translate to winning. And that's pretty much it. It's kind of mix and match at that point. Natalie, you got a list? I do. Um, I'll just like read it off to you. Um, I'm in agreement with you guys with the top three, though my order is different. Um, And I also agree with tears. Like I I do put guys in tears. So, but there's probably a few more people I would slide into that top tier with um, Steph, Giannis, and Katie. Um, But I have Steph, Giannis, Katie. I have Joker at four. Um, I have a healthy Kawhi at fifth. And he might even be fourth, and I would put him as long as he's healthy. I have him as a um, a tier one guy as well. Um, I have LeBron James as sixth. Like I agree with um, Vincent. Yeah, he's making faces because I'm not known to be like the biggest LeBron proponent, but I can respect. Or the greatly. biggest Vinny proponent. <laughs> <laughs> I can acknowledge and respect greatness, even if like I'm not a personal fan of a player and so like i am someone who still thinks like there should be a level of credence given to like your accomplishments and i agree that like the winning didn't like his stats didn't really translate to winning so i'm okay with him being lower but i still think lebron like if you're asking me in a postseason when he just has to perform your music plan a music plan get Let's get that. If one. he Let's just has to perform in, in a postseason, I'm still taking him over a Luca or an Embiid. So I have them seventh and eighth, and then a number of guys battling for those final two spots. Could be AD if he comes back right. It could be Tatum, healthy Dame, could be a number of guys. A D. Anthony Davis. You're feeling you're feeling quite I charitable. It could be. I didn't say it was, but I yeah. don't have Jimmy Butler as top ten, though. He would be in the eleven through fifteen. Yes, that's, that's, uh, yes. <laughs> Natalie, good to see you. you. have to come back, Natalie. We need to talk to you I, some more. Thank you. I would love to. Take care, guys. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.